Merchants and Planners Bank, downtown Newport, Jim Gowan Jr., President and CEO of this organization. Welcome, yes. my friend. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, sir. We hear so much about the Gowans. Of course, your dad, uh, uh, Jim Gowan Sr., uh, in your position for many, many years. And yes. We're going to find out a little bit about you today. For, <laughs> okay. For those people that may or may not know Jim Gowan Jr., tell us a little bit about you and kind of tell us how you got into the banking business. Well, I'm a 1987 graduate of Newport High School and proud to be a Greyhound yes, and sir. have been my whole life since um, my family moved here in 10th grade. And so the last three years of high school, I've been here in Newport and it's been great. Um, I went to college at University of Arkansas at Little Rock and got a degree in finance. And after I did that, I went to work for the state bank department. I was a, a bank examiner. I was a financial analyst for that, gr for that group and also I examined holding companies, bank holding companies. And I had the opportunity to come to work at Merchants Planners Bank um, back in, I guess it was December of 2000. And so it's been last month, it's been uh, 18 years wow. since I uh, came back and started working here at the bank. And it's just been a whirlwind ever since. It has, <laughs> my friend. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, banking in your blood as a young man, and obviously your dad had some influence on you, but when did you decide along the way that's probably what I want to do? I think probably when I was in high school, I actually worked here at the bank part time. I was on the teller line. Right. I worked back in bookkeeping, um, and that was back in the days when we actually had to count checks and stuff checks into statements. And I did that for summers and uh, after high after school from about three fifteen until about six o'clock at night uh, throughout the whole year. And then once again, spring break usually, and then the summers. And I thought, you know, this is this is something I think that I would enjoy. I, you know, I wanted to be a Dallas Cowboy quarterback, but that was not just didn't work out, happen. did it? <laughs> no, that didn't kind of that didn't work out too good for me. But uh, I guess the, the my fallback position was uh, banking, and so that's what that's kind of how I started here and where I started thinking about th that's what I want to do is working part time in high school and throughout college too, and I've just enjoyed it ever since. Well, and then uh, and then full time for 18 years, and it kind of leads me into talking about changes in the industry and changes that you've seen when you started that, that and you talk about stuffing those checks in yeah. there. Like, there's been a lot of change in the banking industry and it changes year to year and sometimes day to day. Talk about some of that changes, the changes that you've seen down through the years. It, it's amazing and I, I know even for people that have had a longer career than, than I have, uh, eight years at the bank department plus 18 here at the bank, the, the amount of change is, is incredible. But even in that amount of time, the difference is just staggering, and it all pretty much due to technology. You know, now we have um, we have businesses currently here at Merchants Planners Bank that businesses that can take their checks, run them through a machine at their business, their place of business, <laughs> and they get automatically deposited into their account here. 2019, one of the things we're looking really forward to is we're going to be offering within the next few months. We're going to be offering that you can take your cell phone, take a picture of a check and it's automatically deposited directly into your account at the bank. And so I think technology is just the biggest life change that, that in banking that there has been. I can't imagine anything that that's not touched by technology in the banking right. world these days. So there's there's been all kinds of changes. Regulatory changes uh, uh, a lot since I started my banking career as well. I started once again as a regulator, but uh, the amount of regulatory burden then versus now, it's, there's, there's a lot more. After the right. 2008 um, national mortgage crisis that community banks had nothing to do with, sure. but when all the new laws started being passed, community banks like Merchants and Planners, we had to follow those laws. And so we have sta compliance staff to make sure that we're doing everything we're supposed to be doing and keeps keeps us out of trouble. So I like those there guys. You go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You mentioned community bank. Yes. And we have talked about this on several occasions with uh, uh, Tara and others here. Kind of explain what a community bank is and what makes us different. Community banking is different than the, the big banks. The, bi the bigger banks, you know, they're, they're not so concerned about what's happening in their community. Uh, a bank like Merchants and Planners Bank and all, all community banks we are interested in making our communities better. We want, our, we want to see our communities thrive. We're in, Merchants Planners Bank is in, we have 11 banking locations in five different counties, right. and we want to have a very strong community presence in each one of those markets. That's, that's the most important thing is 
to, to take care of the community because if you take care, help take care of the community, the community is going to take care of you. And that's, that's just a mindset of community banking. Well, and you mentioned, you know, you, you start out and we'll talk a little bit about the history of the bank. And then you mentioned the several locations, several banks. Mm -hmm. I mean, for years it was Merchants and Planters Bank in downtown Newport, Arkansas. And then we really right. expanded, went out on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> but we've expanded a lot further. That's but right. That's the nature of the business and it has to be done. It has to be done. You have to continue to grow. And just like with any business, if you, if you're becoming stagnant, then you're not going to flourish. And right. any business has to continue to grow. And that's what we want to do. We, you know, we have, as I mentioned a moment ago, you know, we have 11 banking locations in five different counties. Uh, we started in 1946. So right. this year, 2019, will be our 73rd uh, birthday. Uh, actually, it'll be in wow. April, but 73 years of Merchants and Planners Bank. And we've We've been nothing but Merchants and Planners Bank. That's, it's been that bank since day one. But we, along with the 11 banking locations, we have uh, an insurance company. Sure. We have an investment company. Uh, we have a trust department. We have a, a mortgage uh, division that can help you with a home loan. Mm -hmm. And it's just, uh, you know, we can really be your one-stop shop for right. any type of financial needs that you, that you have can be handled right here at Merchants and Planners Bank. I think one of the most important things, Jim, and looking back on, on doing business with people, and I'm a, I'm a people person, and you're a people person, and you have to be in this industry, sure. and, and uh, I like when you can walk into the bank and sit down and talk to somebody <laughs> and get an answer right. from here. It's, it's not it's, like we're going to call St. Louis or we got to call out to so-and-so. We're going to get a decision, and, 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 and most of the times it's, a, it's, a, it's always yeah. a fair decision and hopefully sometimes a favorable yeah. decision. Absolutely. Local decision-making, you can't really say enough about the importance of local decision-making, and that's another key facet of, of what makes a community bank a, a community bank. Mm -hmm. And, you know, local decision making, you know, as, as you know, as you walk in the, the main office here, uh, the first office that you see is my office. Absolutely. And so, uh, and I'm nine times out of 10, I'm behind that desk. And I'm, you know, I'm always here. My, my door is always open to anybody in the community. I have uh, board members, I have shareholders, I have uh, customers, I have people who I want to be customers. They'll just pop in and my door is open to the, those individuals all the time. Uh, another interesting thing about our institution, our community bank, is that um, our largest, and this is one thing that probably most people don't know about Merchants and Planners Bank, is that our largest shareholder is actually our employees. Right. It right. is um, through our employee stock ownership plan. That, that, they, that entity owns the largest amount of stock in our bank. And, you know, so if you go, if you drive through to cash, a, the drive through teller to cash a check, that teller is an owner of this bank. There you go. If you go to one of our CSRs to open a deposit account or a, depo a savings account for a grandchild or a Christmas club account, that CSR is an owner of the bank. If you go borrow money for, for some, from one of our loan officers, that loan officer is an owner of this bank. And I think that that's one of the key things about Merchants and Planners Bank is that every one of our employees is an owner and they're going to take ownership of of the banking relationship to try to make sure that they're taking care of the customer because they know how important it is to them individually not just to the organization but it's important to them if if the bank does well then their their retirement plan does well. Absolutely. And so it, it, it's, it's very beneficial for us. Well, I know that people that work at Merchants and Planners Bank seem to have worked at Merchants and Planners Bank for a long, long time. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm at 18 years last month, I'm, I'm still one of the young ones. You are. Uh, you <laughs> are. We, we have people who have worked here for over 40 years. We have people that have worked here for, you know, 10, 20, 30. And like I said, that we've had individuals work here for over 40 years. And it's just a, it's a fantastic thing. You know, it's a, it's a great yes, place. We, we try to, we try to make it like a family. When, you know, mentioned my father earlier, when he uh, originally, my first year or so that I was here, he mentioned the banking family. And I never really could quite grasp that right at first, but it took me a, a couple of years and I started understanding what he meant by family. You Absolutely. know, if we treat people like family, then, then they're gonna wanna work here and that's the way we wanna be. Tell me a little bit more about Mr. and Mrs. Gowan as we speak. Tell me about those two folks. How are the, they doing? They're doing very well. Uh, uh, Dad has uh, decided that he's going to slow down a little bit in 2019. He will still be here. He'll be involved right. in the bank. He'll still be on the board. But he's not uh, in the bank 
every day like he used to be. Right. Well, deservedly so, that uh, he needs to take a little time off for himself and do some things that he would like to do. That, that's what he tells me, at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you, you've allowed this to happen, I guess. Right. I, I guess so, <laughs> yes, yeah. Sir. So he owes me one. He does that, doesn't he? I appreciate you, my friend Thank Jim you, David. Gowan, Jr., who is the president and CEO of my hometown bank right here in Newport, Arkansas. I don't know why anybody would do any banking anywhere else. Love these folks down here. They've been good to us. They've been good to our family. They're good to our community. We appreciate you, my friend. Thank you, David. I appreciate you, too.